This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. In a previous video today, I talked about the walls closing in on Donald Trump related to his accounting firm firing him. It is also closing in because the January 6th investigation into the insurrection, into the attempted overthrow of the United States government, into the attempted overturning of a free and fair and settled American election. Uh, that investigation is, is uh, seeing results. They are coming to conclusions. They are finding things out. They are piecing the story together they are, they are subpoenaing all kinds of people in the Trump orbit and outside of the Trump orbit, like the fake electors. And some of the documents that have been up to this point um, in dispute about whether they would be turned over are now being turned over. And that includes, that includes the visitor's logs to the White House, which should, if they weren't messed with or incomplete, or improperly filled out, we will find out just the kind of people that were filtering in and out of the White House in the days prior, on, and after the January 6th insurrection. And Joe Biden has released them. Not just released them to the committee, but public. So we can all know. After all, it is the people's house. After all, we pay the bills. We should know who's going in and out and influencing the president of the United States of America. Should, should we not? I'm gonna read a little bit from this New York Times article. Biden rejects Trump's claim of privilege for White House visitor logs. The president informed the National Archives that it should turn over the logs sought by the January 6th committee within 15 days. President Biden is opposing another effort by former President Donald Trump ex-president Donald Trump to withhold information from the House Committee investigating the January 6th attack on the United States Capitol. Ordering the National Archives to hand over White House visitor logs the committee is seeking. In a letter to the National Archives, Mr. Biden's White House counsel, Dana Remus, said Mr. Biden has rejected Mr. Trump's claims that the visitor logs were subject to executive privilege and that in light of the urgency of the committee's work, the agency should provide the material to the committee within 15 days. Mr. Biden had similarly decided last year not to support Mr. Trump's claim of executive privilege over other batches of White House documents and records sought by the committee. Mr. Trump went to federal court to block the release of those earlier batches, but lost. But lost. Are you tired of the winning yet, Donald Trump? Because you haven't seen much of it. This, we are still at risk here of Donald Trump taking this to court, not to win because I think anybody who's, who sees the writing on the wall knows that Donald Trump is gonna lose this case too because former presidents do not have the ability, the privilege of uh, exerting executive privilege. Only the current office holder has that privilege. But, if he was to take it to court, it would not be to win. It would be to slow the progress of the committee. Citing in part the same reasoning as in the earlier case, Ms. Remus told the National Archives that the documents needed to be disclosed in a timely fashion because Congress has a compelling need. She said that constitutional protections of executive privilege should not be used to shield from Congress or the public information that reflects a clear and apparent effort to subvert the Constitution itself. Beautifully stated, Ms. Remus. It is unclear whether Mr. Trump will go to court again in an attempt to block or slow the release of the visitor logs. Again, that would be the intent of a court case, to slow, not to stop. Even dumb, dumb Donald Trump knows that the, the likelihood of a court uh, overturning Joe Biden's uh, assertion or, or, or lack of assertion of executive privilege uh, wouldn't happen. Uh, it is not clear what the visitor's logs might show or how extensive and complete they are. Now that is the sentence that I alluded to earlier. If they did this right, we will know. 
But if they were being doing secret BS and underhanded, like we would all expect Donald Trump to do, maybe they weren't filled out correctly. Now, it would take a larger conspiracy, if you will. There would have to be other people involved to do that. But I'm sure there's an inference or two where someone could be ushered in, spirited into the White House, past a guard gate, past a, a uniformed Secret Service agent. Uh, in the letter, Ms. Remus said the records in the case are entries in visitor logs showing appointment information for individuals who were processed to enter the White House complex, including on January 6, 2021. Now, here is the crux of why this is uh, a non-issue for any reasonable person, is that President Biden and President Obama, both their visitor logs were, made, were public. So there is no secret here. There is no threat to national security that could be uncovered, like Donald Trump has asserted. Under Mr. Biden and under President Barack Obama, the White House has made its visitor logs public, a move that proponents of government transparency have long said gives the public a greater sense of who has a direct pipeline to the country's most powerful officials. But the Trump administration said in April 2017, right when they took office, that they were going to shut this down. They were not going to let the uh, visitor logs be public, and here's their reason. Uh, in April 2017, that such logs should remain secret because of, quote, the grave national security risks and privacy concerns of the hundreds of thousands of visitors annually. Barring their disclosure made it far harder to determine which donors, lobbyists, and activists had access to Mr. Trump and AIDS. That's what this is about, is Donald Trump's criminality and self-dealing and scumbaggery not about transparency. He doesn't give a damn about transparency in government. He cares about what he can get and who can influence him and who will pay him off. In her letter to the National Archives, Ms. Remus pointed out that the majority of the entries over which the former president has asserted executive privilege would be publicly released under Mr. Biden's policy because the policy isn't different for Donald Trump than it is for his own administration. That's what they're saying there. The policy is no different than it was under Barack Obama. Just because Donald Trump wanted it to be all secret and clandestine because of privacy issues and national security, shut up. Absolutely not. It should be no different than it should be for any other president who has respect for the American people and for um, ethics in government, which Donald Trump clearly does not. So we will see, we will follow this and see where this leads us relative to the committee and their work. Because that is ultimately what we're trying to get to the bottom of. They're piecing together disparate text messages to see who called who. Donald Trump's records are all incomplete because he's using Secret Service agent phones and staff member's phone, his own private phone. Who knows? Maybe he has a burner from 7-Eleven. But they're piecing it together. They're doing the work. What do you think, though? I would love to know. You can call. Leave me a brief voicemail. 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Thank you for your engagement. Thanks for subscribing to the channel and liking and commenting. Here, here's a comment for you. You type in, Donald Trump is a, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Anyway, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And if I bring you value, whether that be a smile or some information you can bring into your week, please consider supporting my work here on the platform. For as little as two bucks a month, you can be click the join button below, become a channel member, or you can go on over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Both those are great ways to support what I do here on YouTube. I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.